What's up, guys? We're live. So let me explain the reason for this live stream first. So we were supposed to do a podcast, uh, me, Austin, and the guys, and Kevin, and uh, EG, uh, but we have to reschedule that for tomorrow. And so I didn't want to leave you guys hanging because I promised you a podcast. So I figured this would be a good idea uh, to give everyone some feedback on photos, which is crucial, crucial to your online dating success. <clears throat> so what we're going to do in the stream is I'm just going to go through uh, your guys' photos give you guys my honest feedback, whether the photos suck or they're good. Uh, there might be some roasting involved, might be some lulls involved, so that's going to be good. Also, I'll answer like any questions um, that anyone has in the chat, so it's going to be a good time. But I think a good starting point, actually, would be for me to show you uh, some of the new photos I took so you guys can get an idea of what makes a good photo. So I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to take a look at photos I literally took yesterday. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Okay, uh, so this is a decent photo. It's not my best, right? But it's pretty good. It's an action shot. Looks like I'm walking down the street. I'm actually wearing the same shirt I am now. Uh, pretty decent photo, right? So I could potentially use that. Uh, this one's okay. It's a little post. The lighting is poor. It needs to be edited. Let's keep going. So again, so this is the same principle, action shot. Okay, so here's another one. It's a little post, but I look good in it, right? Again, this is angles and lighting. Very important. It doesn't look too bad. Let's keep going. Also a little post. Okay, now this gets better. So this one's a little post, a little post, but these are still decent. But here's like a nice walking shot. So this is a photo anyone can easily replicate. Um, yeah, just like walking, um, you know, someone takes a picture of you. Again, everything looks good. Lighting is good. So here's the same principle, walking, walking. Uh, this is a pretty decent one, sitting. Uh, again, more walking shots. This is a solid one. Okay, this is a close-up shot, so this needs to be edited a little bit to remove my wrinkles and blemishes, but it's pretty good. Let's keep going. So, yeah, so this is a decent shot, just me sitting there looking all ponderous. This one's probably better for Instagram than Tinder, though, because it's kind of post. So here's a nice one. It's just me chilling, right? Uh, this one's not that great. This one's okay. Okay, this gets this is, this is pretty solid. So this is an idea anyone can replicate. So it's basically just sitting, having a drink, right, at a nice place. Uh, and it was really easy. We just went to this really nice place. I was like, yo, can we take some photos there? I uh, bought a drink and that was basically it. Uh, so again, same principle, uh, just sitting there. Okay, this is a pretty good one too. So this is kind of also me chilling, but uh, I look good in this one. Uh, so this is the same principle. So again, the sitting one. Uh, so again, here's another one. So yeah, you guys can get an idea. So out of these, I'm going to get, I don't know, uh, at least three solid Tinder photos out of the bunch that I just showed you. Like right now, I actually have to recreate my whole Tinder profile and use complete new photos because I keep getting Insta banned whenever I get on dating apps. So I'm going to probably recreate my profile using, I got three photos in there and I'll also probably have like a shirtless selfie and the photo of Rhaegar and that'll be five photos. Um, so yeah, you can do that. And that was done. We took us an hour and a half. Now we took, now let's be straight. I got, we took like at least, I don't know, 400 photos that day. We took 400 photos in the span of an hour and a half. Out of those 400, I picked these 30. And that's really what you have to do. You have to take hundreds and hundreds of photos, different angles, different positions, different lighting, and then some will come out good. A lot of guys, they take like five photos and they're like, all right, man, help me set up a Tinder profile. I got 20 photos for you. I'm like, that's not nearly enough volume. Like we have to do way more. So yeah, so out of these 30 photos, these 30 photos came from at least 500 we took. And that only took an hour and a half. It doesn't take that long. Um, so you just have to make efficient use of your time. Okay, so... Yeah, now let's take a look at some of your guys' photos. Um, okay, we'll just go in like kind of like chronological order, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm going to share the screen. So if you want your photos uh, to be rated, just send me an email, playingwithfirechannelgmail.com. I can't promise we're going to get to uh, through everyone, but yeah, we'll do our best. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. There's the first one. Oh, I got to share the different screen. Okay, hang on. Bear with me. Minor tech issues. Okay, I'm going to share this screen. Also, if you email me your photos, don't email me a link. Please email me like the actual photos. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. Um, yeah, it's the, the dog looks really uncomfortable. Like the dog looks like he's trying to escape. So... Yeah, that's a problem right there. And it's kind of posed. He's like leaning in. Like this guy's pretty muscular. 
But this overall is just not a great photo. The background's really messy and cluttery. Uh, this photo should be like outdoors, him playing with a dog. It looks like he's holding his dog hostage. So not a big fan. Okay, this one. Yeah, it's just like it's another dude's arm around him. Like you can't really do anything about that. Like this would be an okay photo if it wasn't for the arm around him. Uh, okay, same principle. Bro photos, don't use those. Uh, yeah, you can't really see him at all. Like barely see his face. Uh, also, it's still inside. Okay, this one's at least an activity photo, but his outfit is a little whack. The angle is a little bit too low. Uh, the sunglasses are out of place because you can't really ride a horse at fast speed while wearing sunglasses. Uh, yeah, just not a flattering angle. Kind of looks like he has, like, man tits. Like, this guy's in good shape. What he needs to do is uh, get a pre-pump in and stand up and take a photo that way, not sitting down where it kind of looks like his, like, fat is all collected in there. So if I had to rate this guy's looks, I would say 6, 6.5 out of 10. His profile would be like a 3 to 4 out of 10. Definitely massive, massive uh, room for improvement. Okay, someone said, how can we submit our photos? You just email them to me, playingwithfirechannel at gmail.com. It's in the description. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, well, let's take a look at the next person. Um, okay. Also, please don't email me links to your profile. Email me like the actual photos. I was looking for, yeah, yeah, I know me too. But yeah, like the Austin's dad came into town and, uh, and, uh, yeah, so he, we have to move it till tomorrow. It's still going to happen. It's just going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Okay. Let's take a look at the next guy okay uh first photo it's kind of meh i'm not a big fan of his fashion his mouth is kind of open um just not an ideal well just not an ideal i guess facial expression and outfit he kind of looks like a little bit like a farmer so not a fan okay at least here the dog looks comfortable this is fine but the problem is his eyes are closed you don't want photos where your eyes are closed. Also, his clothes are too loose on him. That's another issue. But his eyes are closed in this photo. Okay, this is by far the best one out of this whole bunch. So that should be his first one. I would remove this one and make this one uh, instead. That's definitely his best one so far. It's a little post, but that's okay. Okay, uh, I don't think he's in good enough shape to do shirtless photos. So I think he's got maybe another three months of training. Before he can do that, if he does want to do a shirtless photo, he needs to get this like fucking edited on Fiverr to give himself muscle. Because yeah, he's just too flabby for shirtless photos. Okay, this is not bad. Uh, it's kind of pro polarizing though, because a lot of chicks are gonna be like, "Ugh, he's a white supremacist." So it's a little polarizing, especially since it's he says it's in California State University. I mean, it's a crazy world we live in that having an American flag is polarizing. But I'm just like, you know. That's, I don't think it's polarizing. I think there's nothing wrong with posing next to an American flag. I feel like that's like part of like, you know, just being an American. But for a lot of these SJW chicks, that's like being a white Nazi. Really weird logic, but yeah. So yeah, this picture is going to be polarizing. Uh, you can't see him at all in this one. So yeah, I would rate this guy's looks uh, 5.5 out of 10 currently. He could be a 6.5 out of 10 if he gets in shape. And I would rate his profile a 4.5 out of 10. Uh, really, the main best photo is this. This is a solid photo. This one he can use is just polarizing. The rest I wouldn't use. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's a personal trainer. But I don't understand how he's a personal trainer if he's, like, not jacked. Like, I'm in better shape than him, and I'm not, like, a fitness person. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not the biggest fan of that. Uh, but, yeah, I think he's better, a little bit better than we're used to seeing. Okay, let's take a look at some questions, and then we'll go to the next one. How is purposely turning your head, not looking at the camera, not pose? Because the girl doesn't know you're purposely uh, turning your head. How is she supposed to know that? All she sees is a guy who's looking away, who doesn't really know the camera's there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a good video. Have we waffles do a face review and make a video of it? I could. The issue is that I think it's going to be biased because he knows who I am, right? So I think he's going to give me like a higher rating than he would have normally because 
he knows that if he gives me a low rating and then I do a video on it, he'll look bad. So I don't think that's going to work simply because he knows who I am. Yeah, yeah, I went to Hugo Boss. It's a good store. Jason James recommended that. Uh, you're on TRT, though, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, I've been on for ages. Okay, let's take a look at the next person. Okay. Oh, damn, a bunch of people just emailed me. All right, we got a whole bunch to go through. Let's take a look at the next person. Share my screen. Okay. Let's take a look at this guy. Um, his face looks kind of weird in it. I don't know if it's the lighting or he has like some shit on his face, but he needs to have this photo edited to make his face look a lot more smooth. Uh, and that can actually be done. That's actually pretty easy to do. But yeah, this photo definitely needs to be brushed up and edited. Uh, the fa the smile he has is a little creepy. It's not terrible. It doesn't look like a straight up smirk. It looks a little bit weird. So I don't know. Okay, so this guy's in good shape. Uh, yeah, he can definitely do shirtless photos, but the lighting here is just really, really bad. It's like over and under lit. Yeah, he just needs to do this with normal lighting. Uh, but recreate that. Okay, this is fine. It doesn't add much because you can't see his face, but it's a cool background. I would keep that photo. Uh, yeah, again, kind of has like the weird smile going, so I wouldn't use this. Also, I think some of these are like already edited in a weird way. Uh, yeah, black and white. Don't do black and white. There's actually been some uh, studies done on this that black and white photos perform uh, worse than regular photos. So if I had to rate this guy's looks, I would probably put him at a 5 out of 10. Uh, actually, maybe he's pretty jacked. Yeah, I'll put him at a 6 out of 10, uh, but uh, – his profile put it like a 3.5 out of 10. So not atrocious, but definitely he's doing way worse than he could be. Okay, good feedback. I'm cutting right out so I look at fatty. Oh, yeah, okay, gotcha, man. Uh, he said Indian P was a three or four, didn't he? No, I think he's like a five, uh, but his profile is like a seven, or at least. Uh, I am a 32. Uh, okay. Have you ever done an interview with FedEx Fearless? Uh, I've reached out to him. He never responds. So yeah, I definitely would. Okay. If you're in a mildly populated area, what's considered a good, bad amount of likes kind of new to this? I don't know. If you're getting like 10 likes a day, that's pretty decent. Uh, it really depends on how good looking you are, how good your profile is, how uh, picky you are. But yeah, I'd say like 10 likes a day is pretty solid per app. Okay, let's move on to the next person. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, this is a hard no. The quality of the photo is poor. His facial expression is weird. Background is weird. You can't, his fist is covering his face. This is a pretty bad photo. Uh, but yeah, the picture quality is like really poor as well. So I definitely would not use this photo. Okay, this is better. Uh, but as a, you don't want to take pictures with guys who are taller than you. That's the problem because you'll always look short by comparison. So this photo, his face looks a lot better, but he's with a guy who's taller than him. So it's not that great. Okay. This is also really bad. The lighting is way too intense. It's way too close to his face. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. Also bad photo. Half his head is cut off. Uh, quality is poor. Same thing. Quality is poor. Uh, I don't know who he is. Uh, lighting is really bad. Yeah, I would put this guy at like a 5 out of 10 in terms of looks, but I would put his profile at like a 1.5, 2 out of 10. Like these these are really bad quality photos. Like he definitely needs to step it up. He's not going to get results with this profile, unfortunately. Uh, the marketplace is too competitive. Like maybe if this was like 20 years ago, you I mean, no, 10 years ago, you could pull off a profile like that. Not anymore. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could. I mean, are you guys really interested in not having wheat waffles review my face? Like, does it really even make a difference? Yeah. I mean, if you guys really want to, I could do it. I don't really care. It's like five bucks. I'll pay for it. Alex, do you train in martial arts? I do not. No. I used to when I was really young. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, this is pretty good. 
Uh, this guy's definitely a Chad, and this is a solid photo. A bit post, but that's totally okay for a few photos. Yeah, he looks good in it. The lighting is good. This is a solid photo. Uh, okay, also cool photo. Uh, it looks like he's in Bali or something. Uh, can't see his face, but that's okay as long as it's not his main. Yeah, this is a badass photo. I would keep that. Uh, okay, also cool. You don't want to have two photos back to back where you can't see your face, but this definitely belongs in here. It shows he has a cool lifestyle. Okay, so what I would do is I would swap this photo with this photo so it's not two photos back to back where his face is not visible, but solid. Okay, also really solid. Shows off the back muscles. Uh, oh, and this is another one. This is also pretty good. Okay, I would rate this guy in terms of looks like an 8.5. 9 out of 10, and I would rate his profile like a 8 out of 10 as well. Uh, this is the first guy we've seen so far whose profile is not worse than his SMV. I think he just needs like a little, maybe one more photo where his face is clearly visible because in three of his photos, you can't see his face, which is okay because he has other ones where you can see his face. I just think he needs like one more where his face is visible to balance it out. But yeah, this is like really, really solid. This guy's going to crush it. Uh, let's take a quick look at his bio, looking for some. So you stall too from Monica Girl and share memes. I'll whisper French words in your ear that you never understand. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's, you know, similar to my bio. Okay. That was, that was a solid one. Anyone in the chat remember what email he said to send the pics to? Yes. Uh, it's playingwithfirechannel at gmail.com. Uh, you can see in the comments, again, playingwithfirechannel at gmail.com, all one word. Also, if you, can you guys all do me a favor? Can you guys all smash the like button? It just helps, like, boost this in the algorithm. Uh, yeah, if you guys can do that, that would be great. Okay, let's take a look at the next guy. Okay. Yeah, guys, please don't email me, like, the links to the tinder because that's like i have to swap uh between browsers so i'm gonna like not do those uh because it's just gonna take longer so yeah just send it to me like this way like this is how i want the photo sent because it just makes this whole thing a lot like easier and smoother okay so let's zoom in on this and take a look at this guy uh okay this photo i don't think this photo is a good main photo his face is like covered up by the glass. It's an action shot, but also the quality looks a little poor. This photo is okay. I just don't think it should be the main. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay, this photo is a lot better. Uh, the dog looks like he's like, you know, having fun, so that's good. Yeah, this photo is decent, but his face is, again, is not clearly visible. Okay, this photo is decent too, but you notice how none of these photos so far, his face has been like really clearly visible. Uh, okay, this is also pretty good. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, there we go. Now we see his face. This photo needs to be much earlier in the stack. It needs to be like one or two. Uh, this guy, I would rate him like a seven-ish in terms of looks. Uh, his profile I would rate like a 5.56. Uh, he needs to take a lesson from the last guy and have more like, um, better quality photos. So this photo, I would just say the quality is poor. A lot of girls are not going to get past this one. I don't know how I feel about that. This one's decent. It belongs in there. Uh, this one, yeah, it's decent. It can stay in there. Okay, this one's also decent, can stay in there. Uh, no, I would get rid of this. It's too dark. You can barely see him. Fuck that. Yeah, this one's decent. It can stay in there. Uh, good too. Yeah, this one used to be, this is decent, it used to be closer up. But he needs more photos like this where his face is clearly visible. That's kind of what's lacking from his profile. Okay. Let's uh, keep going. Let's take a look. Someone says, nah, fuck the algorithm. Come on now. Uh, his pics aren't bad. His face covered by glasses is a no-go, though. Yeah, yeah, it's not ideal. Okay, so this is the person. So he gets two, three uh, likes a day, which makes sense because a lot of girls are not getting past that first photo. Uh, that's what's happening. So what he needs is like, here, let me share my screen again, is photos like this. Like, I'll show you the kind of photo he needs. Not this per se. He needs like a photo like this where his face is clearly visible, right? Right. And the lighting is good. The quality is good. He needs photos like this. He needs a photo like, like this. 
something like that. Again, clearly visible, good lighting. Can you use like two photos like that? Or like the ones I have on my Instagram. So let's go to my Instagram real quick. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck is my password? Second, bear with me. Let's log into my Instagram. Oh, I don't know what the fuck. I'll have to figure out my password later. But you guys, you guys know, you guys see my Instagram. Um, yeah, like you see a lot of like good activity photos in there. Okay. What apps do you use? Well, I don't really use many apps now because I've been banned from like all of them. But the ones I recommend are Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Who took your peaks, uh, pics, Alex? It was a photographer that uh, I highly recommend. Uh, I'll uh, I'll put his shit in the description. I don't remember his, uh, his name is Justin. I just don't remember his like Instagram, but we're, I'm actually going to do a video together, uh, like a case study on Indian peas photos. And uh, yeah, I'm going to plug his shit in there. So don't worry. You guys will have access to him. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Share my screen. Why and how did you get banned? Uh, because of my YouTube channel, most likely, but they don't give you a reason. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. I like how everyone has like a variation of my bio. Yeah, the lighting is too strong. Um, photos are too posed. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. This one is a lot better. A lot better. Uh, he looks a lot more natural like he's having fun. This photo is good. I don't think it should be his main because there's other people in it. But this photo is a lot better. Okay, not terrible. Uh, pretty decent. The sunglasses are too large for his face. Other than that... I think it's a pretty good photo. Uh, no, no bro photos. Get rid of this one. Yeah, he's lacking like a few photos like the last guy that like clearly show off his face where he's doing shit. This one needs to be removed. This one's not that good. This is good. I just, this should be number two, not the main. This can stay in there, but look how similar these two are. Like you don't want that back to back. <clears throat> it's like very similar in terms of his facial expression. So these photos need to be spaced out and this photo needs to be removed. And yeah, he just needs a few more photos and this guy can crush it. In terms of looks, he's like a 7.5 out of 10, maybe 8. Uh, in terms of his profile, it's like a 5 out of 10 at best. So big discrepancy there. Okay. Huh. Uh, just by watching videos, I get girls low. It's like magnetic, even though I wasn't with girls. Now I'm even better. True helpful channel radio these days. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'd be getting hella matches. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can do even better, man. You can get even more matches, I think, uh, if you uh, make those changes. But yeah, that's because you have high SMV. Okay. Okay. How do people are asking me how to get around the bands? See, my case is different because I think with girls in my area, when they see my photos, they recognize that I'm like that YouTube guy and they report it. So I don't think any of you guys are going to be in the same situation as me because you're not making YouTube videos about like Tinder lay reports. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to recreate a profile with all new photos uh, after this photo shoot. And we'll see how it goes. OK. Let's take a look at the next one. OK. There's a question. Does having a hard pronounced name affect matches on Tinder? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's take a look at this. Okay. First photo here. The thing is with this guy is he looks really, really young, which is going to something he's going to be thankful for later in life, but he needs to grow out even more facial hair and put on muscle. He's just too skinny. Uh, and that's what makes him look younger. So this is definitely the kind of guy that needs to uh, focus on hitting the gym more. Uh, this photo is okay. Uh, I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Uh, okay. Interesting photo. I would say this is a great photo if it wasn't for this hat. I really don't like this hat. Um, but his face looks really good. Okay, not bad. 
The only thing I don't like about this photo is his eyes are like somewhat closed. Uh, if he can recreate this photo and keep his eyes like open completely, that would be better because they look a little, I don't know, like a little dim. But overall, it's a good photo. Yeah, like I like that. Uh, okay, this is his best one so far. Look at this. This is definitely his best one uh, so far from what we've seen. Uh, this is also pretty decent, but a little post, but decent. Uh, no, hard no on this one. This one should be removed. So, yeah, I would rate this guy like a 7, 6.5 out of looks. Maybe a 7. Yeah, maybe a 7. His profile put a 5 out of 10. This photo I would probably just completely remove. I think it's when he was younger. Uh, this photo, I don't know. I think he needs to ask some girls about this. I would say this is good if it wasn't for the hat. Um, this photo is good, but I don't think it should be the main. Maybe make this one the main, but zoom in on it a little bit. This can be number two. Uh, this can be number three, I guess. This one should be removed. So, yeah, that will leave him with three photos, which is not really enough. I guess you can make this one number four. But, yeah, if he just gets a few more good photos, uh, this guy can do quite well. But, yeah, his main photo right now is just not that good. Guys, I keep telling you it's playing with fire channel gmail.com. It's, it's pinned. Okay. What's a good way to ask a group of people to get real criticism on photos you have taken? Well, you have to ask girls because dudes aren't going to be able to give you feedback unless they're me. I'll be like, hey, which one of these photos do you like the most? And give them options, basically. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Oh, wow. These are just coming in. Okay. Let's take a look at this guy. Uh, he's in good shape for sure. Uh, I'm just not really pleased with the background. It looks like it's like some dirty toilet in a gas station. So I think he should recre re uh, bleh, recreate the shirtless selfie in like a nicer setting. Because, yeah, this just like setting. It looks like it's like some shitty gas station bathroom. Uh, okay, not bad. It's kind of posed, but it's not bad. He looks good in it. Uh, I don't hate it. Uh, no, the lighting is really bad. This one should be removed. Uh, no, uh, lighting is also not ideal, should be removed. So he's got two photos here, this and this. But this one is he needs to be recreated with a uh, nicer bathroom. Uh, so really that leaves him with just this. So looks, he's probably like a 6, 6.5 out of 10. Uh, profile is probably a 2 or 3 out of 10. Okay. Alex, should we hire professional photographers for these photos? It can definitely be helpful, or you can, uh, or you can ask a few friends. Alex, why ask girls for feedback? Why not just put them in tune and get real feedback from the marketplace? Because that will be a very painstaking, long process. Because let's say you have twenty, let's say you have thirty photo options, like I did in that Google Drive. I'm going to have to try like 5 million different orders. And sometimes just which photo you have as first makes a difference. There's also dry spells in Tinder where you get less matches. It's just not an ideal way of doing testing. It's very time consuming. It's much easier just to ask a bunch of girls. Uh, how do you find good photographers? Also affordable. It's really a challenge. Usually word of mouth. Uh, if you have a photographer that you're thinking about working with, ask to see uh, their resume and what other photos they've done. So, yeah, okay, let's take a look at the next one. He says, look from bottom up. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, yeah, that's a hard no. Uh, way too posed. His eyes are, like, practically closed. The background's kind of, I don't know, depressing. No, no, no. Oh, this is even more of a no. Like, it's another selfie. He's, like, in the bathroom. He's kind of weird positioning, short shorts. This one's a hard no. Uh Okay, this is a lot better. Like, <laughs> these two need to be, like, removed from the face of the planet. This one's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I would have it as a main, but it's pretty good. Uh, no, you can't see his face, so no. Uh, you can barely see him. So, again, if maybe if he zooms in on this one, you can't see him at all. No, it's another selfie. Uh, no, this one's too posed. Uh, yeah, the only photo he has in here that's good is this one. All the other ones need to be scrapped. Maybe this one if he zooms in. Looks 6 out of 10. Profile 2 out of 10 at best. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Wait, I, I'm starting in reverse order. Okay. Uh, 
a little too post for my taste. Also, the lighting is too overpowering. Uh, you don't want like direct lighting like that. It just doesn't make you look ideal. Uh, selfie, so no. Uh, sunglasses, nah, not a fan. Okay, never shoot from up top because it makes you look shorter. So this one's a hard no. Uh, this one's weird, so no, no. Yeah, none of these are – this is the best one. It's not even that good. Uh, this guy's probably like a four four to five out of, in terms of looks. Um, but his profile is like a one out of ten. Yeah, like none of these photos are really usable. This one, could, this one's potentially usable, but shouldn't be the main. But the other ones all need to be removed for the reasons I mentioned. Okay, let's see if there's any questions. Uh, playing with fire. How do you respond to the height objection? Girls say that you're short. There's really not much you can do about that. You can be like, you can make a joke out of it. Don't worry, I'll wear my heels so I'm towering over you or something like that. I'll just make a joke. How do you get your photos not to look posed? Okay, so you, what you want to do is you want to take hundreds and hundreds of photos, right? And you want to be moving. So you're you're moving, you're looking around, you're just kind of moving, right? You're not stationary. And if you take hundreds and hundreds of photos, some of them will come out looking natural. But another big one is just do some kind of an activity. But yeah, it, there should be hundreds of photos and you're like moving around, right? Like, so when I'm doing a photo shoot, I'm like looking to the left, looking to the right, look up, move my hand, move my legs, right? Like you want to be moving. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Wait, I'm confused. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, yeah, it's just you can't see his face. Like, this cannot be the main. Uh, no, not a fan of his outfit and what he's doing. No. Okay, not terrible. Like, he's clearly, like, in the country into off-roading. He's got a good smile, but the clothes are too loose on him in this one. Uh, yeah, this guy's, like, pretty good looking, like, no homo. Uh, kind of looks like a younger version of me in a way. But, yeah, like, this one is also not ideal quality. Uh, yeah, also, this one's fine. Can't be main. I uh, can't see his face. Yeah, too many truck photos. Way too many car photos. This guy's, like, a 7, I think, out of, in terms of looks. But his profile is like a three or four out of ten. Just like look how many truck photos there are. One, two, uh, three, four. Or I guess this kind of counts. Like way too many. There should only be one car photo. None of these are great. He needs more like uh, the kind of photos I've mentioned previously. Like this one he could use, yes, but just not as the main one. Uh, maybe he could use this in addition, although I don't like his clothing being so loose. Uh, this one he can use, yes. But again, not his main. So that leaves him with like two or three photos, basically. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, first photo, he's not visible at all. This is doing nothing. So nothing, this photo is not helping in any way. He's way too zoomed out. Uh, again, second photo, we still can't see his face. So no. Third photo, we still can't clearly see his face. Okay, there we go. Fourth photo, we can finally see his face. But it's not an ideal photo. None of these are good. Uh, he's probably like a six. Actually, I don't even know what his SMB is because we can't really see him well except for the last one. Maybe a five or six in terms of looks. But, like, this profile is like a one or two out of ten. Like, these just no girl. Most girls aren't getting past these first two photos. They're like, what the fuck does this guy look like? The girls should know exactly what your face looks like in the first photo. Um, so, yeah, that one's not that great. Okay. Let's take a look at some comments. Do you recommend all doing all your photos in one day and bring multiple outfits and hit multiple locations? You don't have to do it all in one day, but yeah, it's like that's you know you want to try to make the best use of your time. <laughs> it, I died. If Alex flexed any harder, he rips his shirt. <laughs> I wasn't trying to flex. It was just like like random what came to my mind, honestly. But I guess I can see how it looks like a flex. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for the record, I think he's probably better looking than me. Like when I was younger, I think when I had more hair and shit, I think I was probably better looking. Although I was a lot skinnier. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This guy says he gets barely any likes. Let's try to figure out why. Uh, 
Okay, first photo. We can't really see his face that well because half of it is being covered by the helmet. Lighting is not ideal. Quality is not ideal. Also, he has a weird facial expression. No, no on this one. Okay, yeah, this is not good at all. Just really weird facial expression. No. Uh, again, half his face is lit. Half of it is not. The angle is too low. He's a little sunburned. Uh, yeah, also, just the, the big issue is the lighting here. Look at the way the lighting hits his face. It's just not ideal. Uh, this might be the best one out of the bunch, but still not good. It's a night photo. Again, half his face is lit. Half of it is not. Okay. This one's decent. At least the lighting is okay here. It's a little posed, but this is probably the best one out of the bunch. Although he has like, he looks like deer in the headlights type of thing. Yeah, I, I definitely understand why he's not getting uh, many uh, matches. I would rate this guy like a 6.57 in terms of looks and like a 2 or 3 in terms of the uh, profile. None of these pictures are really that good. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, okay, this is actually pretty decent. So this one's okay, but I would rather have him be it's, I don't like I don't recommend bro photos. So if he was here by himself without these dudes with this background, that would be epic. Looks like it's like Thailand or something. Uh, too many dudes. That's basically the issue. This one's good. That should be his main one. This is a solid photo. Decent photo as well. That could be number two. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It doesn't really add much or detract much. No, because the bathroom looks kind of small and creepy and you can't see his face. Like your face should be, uh, should be, uh, visible. So hopefully he has a photo from this trip where he's without the dudes. He can use that. Then this can be his main. This can be the second one. Although this is by far the best one. Like it's, this one's not as good, but it's decent. This one can be used in there as a filler photo, but yeah, he just needs like more photos and he needs to remove this one and remove this one and replace it. Okay. Let's see what comments we have. Uh, should you mention how tall you're in Tinder bio? I'm five, seven, for example. Um, no, if you're under like five, 10, five, 11, then you should not mention it. Is Tinder a good place to find an LTR? I mean, you know, it can happen. I met one of my girlfriends, not Natty, but two before her. Uh, we'll call her, I don't want to give away her name. We'll call her M um, on uh, Tinder. So, yeah, you can. Uh, Bumble and Hinge are probably better for it. But, yeah, it can definitely happen for sure. My cousin met her uh, now husband and father of her child on Tinder. Um, so, it definitely happens. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. I have a feeling we're only going to get through so a very few percentage of these photos. Okay. He said he gets very few likes. Uh, yeah, this is just a weird angle. His face is a little sunburned. He's just turned around way too much. This is just not a good photo in general. It's also taking from a little bit higher, which makes him look shorter. Uh, you want your, all your photos to be neutral or lower. Uh, group photo with dudes, like I said, no on that. Okay, he's recreating my concept, except his face is not really visible. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, again, you can barely see him. No, he just looks like kind of like dorky in this one. Army photos are okay, but this one you can barely see him. Yeah, the problem is like he's barely – you can't really see what his face looks like that clearly in a lot of these photos. Uh, he also has a baby face, so this guy definitely needs to grow out some facial hair if possible and put on some muscle uh, to make himself not look as young. But, yeah, like none of these photos are that good. This is probably his best one, but you can barely see him in it. This one, like, I like the concept, but, like, the lighting sucks. You can't see his face. This one is just no. Like, he looks kind of dorky. Uh, this one, he's barely visible. So, yeah. Looks probably 5 out of 10. Uh, photos probably a 2 out of 10. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. It's just, like, not, not a really flattering photo of him. He's, this guy is clearly tall as fuck. Um, so, but yeah, this, you can see this photo is taken from a higher angle, which doesn't make him look as tall, but then when it's taken from a lower angle, you can see how tall he is, but yeah, he's just like, we really weird body language squatting, like not a good pose. There's some random arm around him. No. Uh, yeah, this is like just poor quality, poor quality, uh, poor quality and lighting. Uh, yeah, not ideal. This might be his best one. 
I would say, but it's still not ideal. Uh, in terms of looks, this guy's like a 5.5 out of 10. If he puts on muscle, he can be like a 7. But uh, his profile is like a 2 out of 10. Again, these are just like lower quality photos. Could have worked like 10 years ago, but uh, not going to work now with the current competitive uh, marketplace. Okay, let's see what questions there are. Or lie and say your 5.9 phone answers don't do it. Yeah, yeah, you can exaggerate by a few inches for sure. Uh, because they have a more Bumble and Hinge have a more of like a dating type of, uh, I don't know, um, what's the term? Like, I don't know. That's just like kind of what they're more known for. So girls who want a relationship are going to be more likely to go there. Will chicks give you advice that will make you a platonic nice guy? Yes, if they're not self-aware. What are some uh, treatments to grow side hair? Um, Rogaine, for sure. You can put, I used to do this, put Rogaine on your beard. You can also do derma rolling, uh, which puts like small little holes in there, which are like, you know, heal really fast. So derma rolling with Rogaine is a pretty powerful combination. There's actually been studies done on this. Here, let me actually pull this up. Uh, this is pretty cool. Derma rolling Rogaine study. This is a really cool study. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. So they basically they tested how Rogaine performs on its own compared to Rogaine and derma rolling. And what they found was this. Okay. Okay, so here's the study. I want to show you guys the photos, though. I want to show the photos. Okay, here we go. Microneedling group. So this is, I believe, just microneedling. Uh, so ba pre-treatment baseline, post 12 weeks after treatment. Pretty fucking good. Look at this one. Holy fucking shit. He grew his whole hair back just with microneedling. This is just Rogaine. And now let's take a look at both of them. Can we see both of them? Oh, shit. Sorry. This one was, this one was microneedling and Rogaine, I believe. But yeah, like fucking drastic results. So you combine road game with microneedling, which is totally safe. You can see drastic results in your hair. I personally do my, uh, I, I use a, uh, a microneedling machine called the Derminator 2. You have to order it from Europe, but it's, it's supposed to be the best one. It's the one that more plates, more dates uses. Okay. But you guys, you guys see this is fucking crazy. Did you meet uh, Natty in Colombia? No, I met her on Bumble in Miami. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one now. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next guy. Holy shit, my inbox is flooded. Okay. Alex, updated profile based on your feedback. Let me know. Okay. Oh, this is the guy from we saw earlier. He just made some changes. Okay. Yes, better, but this one shouldn't be main. This one's pretty good. Okay, let's try to organize this for him. Uh, okay, yeah, there's definitely potential here. I'm thinking... Hmm. The question is, which one of these should be his main? Uh, this could potentially be his main, although his face is not that clearly visible. This could be number two. I, I, this, I'm okay with this being number two. Then this could be number three. This one should be removed. This could be number four. This could be number five. And that could be number six. Definitely better. Still definitely room for improvement, but this is a lot better in the order I suggested. Okay, let's move on. Uh, yeah, no. It just kind of, he just doesn't look flattering. Also, these are not good sunglasses for him. Um, yeah, no, I don't like, he just kind of looks like a teenager, uh, bad lighting. You can see the way it hits his face. Yeah. None of these folks, he's probably like a six out of 10 in terms of looks and a four out of 10 in terms of his profile, maybe a three out of 10. Like these are not terrible, but none of these are ideal. Again, through manipulating lighting and angles, you can look a lot better than, you know, you could, you know, you would normally look. Let me actually, sh okay. You know what? Let me show you guys this. I want to really drive this point home for you guys. How important lightings and angles are so i'm gonna pull up 
a playing with fire guide. So let's go to uh, where the fuck is it? Wait. Oh, what the fuck happened to this? Uh, wait, where's the tips and guides area? Okay, I have to talk to my tech guy because he fucking they removed the tips and guides. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, this is the forum, right? But I want to see where my tips and guides is. Yeah, no, that's to access. Okay, I guess we can't fucking look at it now. Yeah, I, I, I think my tech guy, when he was updating this, accidentally removed the tips and guides section. That's where I had an article that I was going to show you guys, but um, I think you get the point. Okay, I have to, like, let him know about that. Um, okay, let's go back to reviewing photos. So uh, we're going to go back to this. Actually, I wonder if I just search for it. Tips and guides. Yeah, all right, I'll not have him put this together because this fucking, you can't see shit right now. Okay, let's get back into this. Okay, hard no. Uh, he's not a bad looking dude, but look at like, this is just not a flattering angle, not flattering lighting. He has a crease in his forehead. Like, look how big this crease is. Like, that's just, this photo should never have been used. Uh, bro photo, I always say no on these. Uh, downwards angle, so no. But he's got like, look, he's got a badass tattoo. Uh, so, you know, this guy has potential. Way too close to his face, too many dudes. Way too close to his face. None of these photos are good. He's probably like a 6 out of 10. This profile is a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I would not use any of these photos. Okay. Let's take a look at some questions. Why is micro needling machine not working for you? Uh <laughs> Well, it is working. We don't know what, like, imagine what I would have looked like if, if I didn't do the micro needling. Like, everyone in my family is bald. My dad is bald. My mom's dad was bald. Like, I have really horrible genetics for hair loss. Plus, I take TRT. Plus, I take DECA. That is a horrible combination for hair. And yet, I still have hair, right? So, that does suggest that the micro needling and all the other stuff I do is working because I think that if I didn't do all the stuff I do, I would literally be like completely bald. I do plan on doing a hair transplant at some point, and then my hair will look really good. So, uh, yeah, it's just like you have to compare it to the alternative. I think that if I didn't do TRT and DECA, uh, I would have a much better head of hair for sure. <laughs> okay. Raygard chilling in the background, judging all of us. Tips and guides was under forms if you look again. Uh, let me see. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a different area. No. Alex keeps ignoring my emails. I'm really not. I'm just trying to get through like the order. Like I'm just going in order. If I skip anyone's emails, I'm sorry. Wait, Alex, you're on DECA right now? Yes. I take small doses of DECA, like not bodybuilding doses. Uh, I don't do it for the bodybuilding benefits, although that is a nice little benefit. I do it for the uh, healing benefits. Uh, DECA, if taken therapeutic doses, can significantly speed up collagen uh, production, uh, or so my doctor tells me. So, yeah, you can use it in small doses to speed up your healing process. Alex, have you thought about doing all of Austin's awesome boost so you can maybe get off TRT? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think I can... I think I've been taking it for too long. Like it's, it's a, yeah, I'm not going to, if I get off TRT, my testosterone will crash uh, for a long period of time, maybe months, maybe years. So I just have no desire to deal with that in terms of like all the other health issues I have. Like there's really no big downside besides hair loss to staying on TRT. So yeah, I have no desire to, uh, uh, to get off. Do you just take for Nastride for your hair works so good? Yes. But a lot of people have really bad uh, side effects. So uh, I don't know if I want to fuck with that. What's your toll in free testosterone? Uh, I don't know. It's, I'm in the very top range. My toll is like over 1,000, maybe like 1,200. My free is like 300 or something. It's in the very upper end of the range. Yes, guys, please, please hit the like button. Okay, let's move on to the next person. Okay, uh, lighting is not ideal. I really want to drive the point home today how important lighting and angles are. 
Uh, Chicks have known about this for ages. It's about time guys get with the program too. Uh, so you can see the light hits his forehead, but the rest of his face is kind of dark. So this photo is okay. Okay, not bad. Kind of posed, but pretty badass too. At least the lighting and angle here is good. Um, it's okay. Yeah, this one looks pretty natural. This one's cool. No, not bad. So I would maybe make this as main. This could be number two. This could be number three, although it's really quite posed. Uh, I don't know what could be number four. He could potentially make this as number four. But, yeah, the best photos are this, this, and this is good. It's just posed. This guy has potential. In terms of his looks, he's like uh, six-ish out of ten maybe. Uh, depending on how tall he is, maybe potentially a seven. His profile right now is a four out of ten, but he can really go up to like a, a six, seven out of ten pretty fast. Okay, let's take a look at Fabio. Okay, uh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, okay, this is decent. Uh, okay. So this is – the background here is badass. I don't even know where the fuck he is. Uh, but it looks cool as fuck. Lighting is not ideal the way it hits his face. But this could be like a secondary photo. Uh, okay, also secondary photo because you can't see him. Okay, you can't see him, so also secondary photo. Uh, you can't see him at all. There's no point to this one. Remove it. Uh, decent, yeah. Okay, pretty decent. He has too many secondary photos. So, okay, make this the main. Then I think for number two, make this number two. Or or this could be number two or three. One of these is number two. The other one is number three. And then have one secondary photo. Like this could be four and this could be five, something like that. And that's actually pretty good, pretty decent. Just this photo needs to be removed. This photo needs to be removed. But, yeah, if he gets, like, another solid photo like this, like, he needs, like, one or two more photos like this, like, high-quality photos where the lighting is ideal, and this guy could crush it. Yeah. And keep some of the more candid photos like this as, like, number three or four. But, yeah, this guy definitely has potential. He's probably, like, a 8.5, 9 in terms of looks. His profile is probably, like, a 6 out of 10 right now, but he can easily level up. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going in terms of like the photos that were recently sent to me uh, because if I start going in order, it's going to get confusing. So, yeah. Alex, can you please? Okay. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'll go. Uh, I'll go. Uh, I'll go slower. Okay. Well, once again, it's playing with fire channel at gmail.com. Okay, cool. Yeah, Greg, I'll try to take a look at yours next. Uh, let me see if I can find you. Okay, let's take a look at Greg. Okay. Uh, lighting is not ideal. Again, you can see half the face is lit, but it's not terrible. But overall, I'm not a fan of this one. It's maybe as like number three or four. Uh, no, like this is just a weird group photo. No. Uh too posed and he kind of looks like he has flab so no uh you can't see who he is so no 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 bro photos no bro photos yeah the only photo here that i could would consider using is this one and this one should not be the main one uh because then if this is the main one the girl's gonna be like what does he have a drinking problem uh all these should be removed these are kind of like lower quality photos and again no bro photos guys they're not that good uh, look, if you have a photo of you hanging out with a bunch of girls and dudes, it's like a cool group of people. Yes. If it's just you and a bunch of dudes, then no. Alex, are you ever going to travel again? Yes, I will at some point. Okay, let's go to the next one. By the way, Greg, I always see you in the comments, so I appreciate your support, man. I think I see you on TikTok pretty often. Okay, let's take a look at Rob TV. Uh, yeah, no, like, like, like we can literally see inside his nose. This is way too close up, way too close up. 
Uh, he looks like a deer in the headlights in this one, so no. Uh, no, it's like kind of a selfie. He also looks better with longer hair. His hair is too short in this one. Uh, no, it's like, yeah, not a fan of the tracksuit, kind of a forced smile. None of these photos are good. This one, if it was much more zoomed out, has potential. But, like, these are all just like, like, we basically – you know how I say you want to see the person's face clearly? Well, not this clearly. I mean, this is just too close up. And, like, a lot of these are selfies. Like, this is a selfie. This looks like a selfie. Uh, this one, weird facial expression. This one's too close up. He's probably a six in terms of looks. And, like, this profile is, like, a two out of ten or something. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Um, okay, kind of looks like Chris Wilde a little bit. Uh the only problem is his facial expression. He looks like he's constipated. Other than that, it would be a decent photo. Uh, no, weird facial expression. Uh, no, he looks a little sunburned and also weird facial expression. Okay, this is probably the best one out of the bunch. Uh, this one's okay. Yeah, this is the only good one that I would use because his facial expression actually looks good uh, and the angle is good. This could be the main one. All these other photos need to go. Uh, this could be... Like, he's probably jacked enough to do a shirtless photo, but he needs one where his facial expression is better. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, that's another flower lemonade. Gotcha. If you were to live overseas in a foreign country, where would you go? Um, I would go to uh, Colombia, probably. Median. Any offer on Lambs? Yes, he's actually been texting me. He's been pretty consistent. Uh, we're going to do a call tomorrow. You should write a book about dating Alex. Well, I have a, a ebook. Uh, yeah, at some point, I'll probably write a book. Uh, I'll fix my profile. Yeah, for sure, man. Thanks, Alex. I'm 19. I'm still putting on muscle. Oh, okay. Gotcha, man. Yeah, it takes time. Isn't Colombia unsafe? No, Medellin is decently safe, I guess. Uh, Alex, is Tinder premium worth buying? Yes, I think so. Yeah, it depends on what city you are. Like when I was in Bogota, I got robbed at knife point. But Medellin, if you're staying in Park uh, El Poblado, it's 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 fairly safe as long as you take some common sense precautions. So yeah, I never feel like dangerous when I'm in El Poblado, especially if it's not like super late at night. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, we got 168 live viewers. Can you guys all do me a favor and smash the uh, like button? It'll help me in the algorithm. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay. Uh, decent, but it looks like it's not clear if he's working at the restaurant. Uh, also, the, the actual quality of the photo is a little poor. It's a little blurry. This one needs to be, like, edited and made sharper. Uh, not bad. Uh, nighttime photos aren't ideal, but not bad. Uh this is probably the most natural looking one out of the bunch, but his hair is so different. Like, I don't know. I think I prefer him with like shorter hair like this rather than this. It's too long. Uh, can't see him. So it's useless. Uh, not, it's like his brothers, but no. Um, decent. Yes. I think he can do a better selfie. At least the bathroom looks nice, but his head is just kind of like tilted. So I think he can do one that's closer or crop this to like cut out like the other door. This one could be cropped, I think, to be better. So the selfie is acceptable. This one is acceptable. This one's decent. He's a 7 out of 10 in terms of looks and a 5 out of 10 in terms of his profile. Definitely room for improvement, but it's not terrible. Uh, will you get a hair transplant? Yes. I, keep it. I have to answer this question like every live stream. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get a hair transplant. Although I really don't know what that has to do with like the quality, like the photo thing. But yes, I will get the uh, hair transplant. Don't worry, guys. Uh, can you tell the robbery story? Uh, sure. It's actually not that exciting. Me and my friend, we were walking to a grocery store to buy some water because we didn't want to want to drink water from the sink. And it was like 3 a.m. or something. Uh, we were staying in a fairly safe area, but I guess not. These two do two dudes like kind of came like we're walking towards us. One of them had like a big machete and he grabbed my friend. He was like, dinero, dinero. So I just gave him 40 bucks. He was like, thank you. And they left us alone. It's as simple as that. When you're in, when you're in Colombia or any third world country, you want to keep a little cash on you so that if you get robbed, you can give them some cash. 
Uh, cause if you don't, they could get pissed off and fucking stab you. So, but you don't want to have too much money on you. So I just always walk around with like a 20 or 40 on me. But again, that's a different city. That was in Bogota. Bogota is very different uh, than Medellin. Have you ever banned Korean women before? Yes. I used to live in Koreatown, LA. So yes. Uh, Alex, I think you should save the best photos. Yeah, that's that actually would be an interesting video if everyone gives me their consent. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, we just looked at this guy. Okay. Okay, this photo is like overdone. It just looks like like I don't know, like it belongs in the yearbook or LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, it's just like overdone. Uh, no, like half like part of his face is covered by his jacket, too close. Uh, no, poor quality. No, another selfie. Yeah, none of these photos are are good this one's probably the best one but it's not that great uh this guy's probably like a six in terms of looks but this profile is a two out of ten none of these are that good okay um okay this guy sent this to me let's take a look um uh, this one's okay but the smile is a little too wide it just it just kind of looks weird and the quality is not that great uh yeah no his head is sticking out not good quality <laughs> you can tell he has like kind of like a boner in this photo that's pretty funny uh if this photo as a side note bulge photos are pretty good but uh this one's taken weird he just doesn't look good at it if he is going to use that photo he needs to cut off all that space above his head so that he can get like so he doesn't look short uh okay not a bad back shot but doesn't add much no facial expression weird this guy needs to i think grow out a little bit more facial hair he has definitely the potential and grow out a little bit more hair i think he has a decent hairline if he grows out a little bit more hair you can like spike his head up top he can have the skin fade have a little bit more of a beard uh i think this guy has potential in terms of looks if he does that the hair and the facial hair it could be like a six point six out of ten uh but this profile is like a three out of ten okay let's keep going Okay, selfie, also long, wrong angle, poor quality, weird facial expression, no. Uh, really poor quality, uh, no, like weird group photo. Uh, poor quality. Like this guy's not bad looking. I think this guy's probably like a 6.57 out of 10, but he really needs to do better on the photos. I would put this, this profile at a 3 out of 10. Like most of these are selfies. Selfie, uh selfie two selfies and then the other ones are just like poor quality like just poor quality photos like these need, definitely needs to redo this okay oh my lord no this is like way too much of like a linkedin yearbook photo it just no this is like a weird headshot superposed no no on this uh also weird facial expression i wonder where he is he looks like he's in europe uh, okay, interesting. This one is interesting. Uh, has potential, but if he's going to use a photo like this, he needs a very sexual angle. The problem is the girl on the left is not that attractive, but the one on the right is pretty good. The one in the back is decent. So it does look pretty badass. So I would probably find a way to use this, but he does need to go more sexual his profile then. Uh, no, you can barely see his face. Uh, way too close up. He definitely has potential for a shirtless photo, but way too close up. I uh, can't really see him at all. So I would do a shirtless photo, but not one like this. This one has potential. The other photos I would scrap. This, this is the most incongruent thing. This photo combined with this photo. That is so incongruent. In one of these photos, he looks like a very nice, sweet guy. In one of these photos, he looks like a pimp. You cannot have both in one profile. You can either have one or the other. You can't have both. And this photo in general is not that good. So that's the issue there. Okay. Oh, this guy we already did. Unless he's sending me something new. Yeah, we already did this guy. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, please send to me in the uh, different format. I'll probably get two matches every two, three days. Okay, let's take a look at this. 
Okay, wait. First photo. What am I looking at? I guess he just screenshot this weird. But okay, I think this is the first photo. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to mirror my concept, but eh, the his eyes look closed, so that's not ideal. No, this one looks really weird. Um, no, poor body language. This one's not bad. It's a little post, but it's not bad. This this is the best one so far. This should be the main one. This one should be removed. This one should be removed. This can be number two, and then he needs two or three other ones. So this guy's like a 6.57 in terms of looks. Right now his profile is at like a 4 out of 10. Okay. Let's take a look at some questions. Uh, Alex, I think you should say best photos. Mm. Yeah, I think I can do that. The tricky part is getting uh, consent from all my subscribers. But, yeah, I could do that. Alex, have you ever heard Tan Tan? No, because it's not going to be big in Miami, but I've heard of it. There's just no point using it in, like, Miami. Alex. Do you try to open and direct in field? Uh, I go pretty direct on field, I think. How many matches a day are just considered good? I mean, like five or ten is pretty good. Are these streams saved? Yes, yes. Everything is saved. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be able to watch this on repeat. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Can anyone send you their profile right now? Yes, anyone can send me their profile. I can't promise I'll get to it, but I'll try to get through as many as we can. I'll probably go for another half an hour. Uh, okay. Oh, this is his, like new lineup. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, better, but one, two, three. These photos, this two, these two are too similar. You should remove one of them. I would remove this one. Uh, no. I don't like this one. Remove this one. This one can stay. That will leave him with four photos, which is decent. That's okay. So, yeah, I would remove this, the reading one, and this, the phone one. That will be better. He'll. You still need a few more good, solid activity photos, but you're, you're going in the right direction. Okay. There's a profile update. Okay. You guys are fast. Okay. I don't think this one should be main, but it's not bad uh, to... I think this one should be the main. Uh, these two are too similar. You can't use these side to side because uh, you're wearing the same outfit. And by the way, guys, you don't need to have six photos on Tinder. You can have three or four photos. Uh, so get rid of one of these. They're both good. I don't know which one to get rid of, but ask some girls. Again, three photos you're wearing the same outfit. You cannot do that. Uh, this one should be removed. Yeah, this one, this one can keep there. So yeah, this can be number one, I guess. Uh, then this would be number two. I don't know. I would ask some girls between this and this. The other one would be number two, then number three, then number four. That will leave you with four photos, but that's still better. I'd rather have you have four great photos than six average photos. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. This guy looks really young. Yeah. Okay. This is – no. Like, this profile is just kind of, like, weird – Honestly, no offense to this guy. Like, I don't, it's just like, I don't know what's up with it. It just looks kind of odd. Like the lighting and like this theme, it just looks like almost like a troll profile. But I would not use any of these photos. Yeah, no. None of these are good. I think he needs to redo his whole photo, his whole profile. Like, none of these are good, in my opinion. Okay. Thank you very much for the feedback. No problem. How often do you infield nowadays, Alex? Very, very rarely. Alex, I get one, two matches and hinge, but if I like girls' profile versus the old child, me, so when I engage, lots of matches with women who match with me. Yeah, so keep engaging them, man. Yeah. Uh, no, I think shirtless abs as a first pick is okay if you're going for a sexual angle. Uh, I just think the other photo was a little bit better, but. I'm cool with him using that as his main. Uh, no, this guy needs to grow at least 25 pounds of muscle. Okay. 
Let's go to the next one. Um, just a little bit, just kind of like too close up and just kind of like, I don't know, he looks a little sad in this one. Uh, this guy also looks quite young. He definitely needs to grow out some facial hair and muscle because he looks really young. Uh, this one's too dark. This one's too zoomed out. Uh, yes, potentially, but not as number one. Okay. No, she can't see his face that well. No, too dark. This one can work. The only one I would use is probably this one, and this one shouldn't be number main. This guy's probably like a 6.5, 7 in terms of looks, but his profile right now is like a 2 or 3 out of 10. Okay. Uh, Tinder activity pick. Yeah, dude, I would definitely put this one in there. This is a solid photo, so yes, put that in. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. So for this guy, I think he just needs to shave his head. He just needs to embrace the bald look. Uh, I think like, and like, yeah, I know, look who's talking. But uh, yeah, he just has like pretty bad hair loss. So I would, either he should get a hair transplant or shave off his head. But like this in-between look is not good. Uh, also, this photo is just like not great, I guess, just in terms of aesthetics. This one, he looks kind of nerdy. This one, yeah, no, no, no. I think, yeah, he needs to shave his head or get a hair transplant more i guess more practical is to shave his head and then redo these because it just doesn't look that good with like the way his like with the hairline at the way it is so yeah unfortunately i don't think i wouldn't use any of these okay uh no no black and white photos also too close up looks like a yearbook photo uh no not good lighting can't see him uh no don't know who he is no beer belly uh okay this one's decent shouldn't be number one though uh, no, can't see anything. This is the only one I would use out of the bunch. Let's see if there's something else he sent me. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this guy we just reviewed. This guy we reviewed. Guys, please don't double email the photos because then it gets confusing. Uh, okay. No, this is just like way too red. This guy's in good shape, but this is just the lighting is like really bizarre here. Uh, no, can't see him. I uh, can barely see him. No, weird selfie. Can't see him. Yeah, this is, he's probably a six in terms of looks. This is like a one or two in terms of profile. Like most of these photos, you can't see him or their selfies. Get rid of that. Okay. No. Nah. Okay. Didn't we just review this guy? Okay. Ah, I usually shave my head but got lazy that day. Yeah, you, unfortunately, you can't get lazy the day of the photo shoot. The day for my photo shoot, I, I got a fresh haircut, got a bunch of new clothes. So, yeah. What's the point? I mean, they're all so useless, <laughs> these SJWs. They're only good for, like, uh, debating. What's up, Alex? Thanks. You have had many success. Nice, man. I'm glad to hear. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, what's it called? Sartain told me. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, okay, his body language is kind of weird in this one and his facial expression, so no. Uh, not terrible, but he's on the very side of the photo. You should be in the middle of the photo. Okay, this one's not bad. It's kind of posed, but the lighting is poor, so no. Okay, is this the same photo? It's almost the same photo. He just looks kind of angry in this one. Okay, this is the best one so far. Best one so far we've seen. This one's decent. Uh, okay, so he's got one decent photo. Like, I like this one. I, don't, I probably would not make it the main, but I guess you could. The other ones I would scratch because of either poor lighting or body language or facial expression. He's probably like a 6.5 in terms of looks. His profile is a 3 out of 10. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, no, this is like his facial expression is weird. It's a car selfie. No. Okay, a lot better, but the lighting hits him too hard. So you can barely see his face. Uh, okay, this is the best one. That could be the main one. 
This is a decent. This could be number two. This could be number three, although you really can't see him. Okay, I would make this the number one, this number two. Yeah, I, I wouldn't use this. You're just too dark. So you have two photos in this bunch. You could maybe make this your number three, although I would really do a better shirtless photo. But this one's decent, and this one's decent. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. This guy really needs to uh, go to a barber shop. Uh, he's, he, I mean, I get it. Like, I used to kind of have hair like this when I used to be a snowboarder. When I used to snowboard a lot, you just it's kind of like the snowboarding look, but not ideal for Tinder. He needs to go to a barber shop and get his, uh, his beard lined up, uh, his hair trim. Yeah, this is just too wild. Uh, not bad, but again, kind of looks too much like a hippie. No on this. Uh, lighting is weird. No, two posts. Shorts are too short. Uh, no, facial hair is too crazy. Really, this guy needs to do something. He needs to get his beard trimmed significantly and his hair. Like, either he needs to go full man bun or he needs to, like, just cut his hair. But what he's doing now is just not working. It's kind of like a hippie look, which is really not ideal, especially not today. So, yeah, he's got potential, but he needs to really do something about the hair. Uh, okay. Okay. I remade my hinge account. I already have 30 matches. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you, you have a lot more room for improvement, though, sir. Okay. Uh, we already reviewed this guy. So, yeah. Guys, please, please, please don't double email me your, uh, your shit. Okay. Let's take a look at this guy. Uh, okay. I mean, he's got cool eyes. Uh, this one's okay. It's a little too, his facial expression is a little too plain for my taste, but it's okay. Okay. This is a good one. Uh, shouldn't be the main cause the quality is poor. Uh, okay. This one has potential. He kind of looks like a celebrity. This one's okay. Uh, facial expression is weird. Otherwise this would be a good one. I wonder what this guy was. It looks like he's like from like Norway or something. Uh, See, the thing is, is that he looks good in this photo. It's just it like it's kind of posed and it's too close up. This one is good. It looks natural, but he's too far apart. This one could be like number three as like, I don't know, like, like, whoa, what does this guy do? Uh, quality's a little poor in this one. This one, his facial expression is not ideal. So I would keep this one, but I don't think this should be the number main. I would keep this one, but I don't think it can be the main. And this one. So he's got three photos, but none of these work as a main photo. So I think he really just needs to get one or two more solid activity photos, and this guy could crush it. Uh, eight out of 10 in terms of looks, currently five out of 10 in terms of profile. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, we already reviewed this, guys. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. <laughs> I like how everyone's just doing the wine pouring thing. I think I started a trend. Uh, let's see. I want to see all his profile. Okay, he definitely looks better with facial hair for sure. Compare this to this. Uh, his beard is a little too short. So I would make sure, let your beard grow out a little higher. Uh, this is called the pork chop look. It's not ideal. You want your beard line to be higher. So that's just like a side note. Uh Okay, he looks kind of skinny in this one, but in this one, he looks kind of chunky. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this one needs to go. This one is just think the quality is poor, background is poor. This one, mm, eh, I would still scratch that. Uh, this one's the only one that has potential. I would cut out some space from the top to make him look like less, uh, less short. But yeah, that's the only one I would use. Even this one, I don't think I would make it the main, but I think he needs to let his like let his, the beard line go higher, and that will make his face look a lot better. But look at how good he looks with his skin fade. The skin fade makes such a difference compared to like this one, right? Like look at the difference. Him with without a skin fade, him with a skin fade. Massive fucking difference. Uh, he just needs to work on his beard. Okay. What the fuck am I looking at? Uh, okay, he's like, I'm new to this. I get zero to two matches. Yes, but your first photo, like, what the hell is going on? Like, this looks like a body that's being murdered. That's creeping girls out. Yeah, this is this photo needs to go. Like, what the hell is this? 
Yeah, no. This is like way too artistic, let's just call it. No fucking uh, whatever the fuck this is called. Eye patches. Uh, this one, barely see you. This one looks kind of feminine. Yeah, like this whole poor file needs to be redone. I don't even really know what this guy looks like, but if he looks like this, he's probably like a 5.5, 6 out of 10. This profile is a legit 1 out of 10. Girls are looking at this photo and they're like, what the fuck? And you can actually get banned for stuff like this because Tinder's like, what the fuck are you doing? So, yeah, no. Okay, let's take a look at some questions. What do you think about TMF going on the Fresh and Fit podcast? He's going on the Fresh and Fit podcast. I don't know how that's going to be possible since uh, TMF doesn't show his face. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he does that, I guess. Alex, can you invest in the Ask MT, take your photo stuff, hiring a photographer? Uh, I already have a lot of really nice cameras. I have like $5,000 worth of camera equipment. So I have all the equipment. It's more about the skill of being able to take the photos, which is where, you know, someone who's good comes in. But we have all the equipment. We, we, we're not lacking that. Is just uh, you know the skill of taking good photos. Alex, you show more group profile pics and buying tech game from viewers so we can get more variety. And everyone doesn't have to just copy you. Lol. <laughs> okay, I'll try to do that. Alex, can fat guys get laid? Uh, yes, but it's a lot harder. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We got 170 live viewers. All right. Uh, I think this is the same guy as before. Uh, yeah, this photo is okay, man, but it's a little too posed. Like, it's kind of like a weird – like, I think you can do better. And that's a nice car, but I think you can make this photo better. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, these are, like, too zoomed in, too amateur. Uh, this guy's got a deep, good beard. I like his beard. I think he would look better with a skin fade, but – it's, that's not the issue. This photo is just way too close up. It's a selfie. This is way, way too close. Uh, okay. Uh, lighting is not ideal. Uh, look how different he looks with this haircut. Uh, yeah, the, the, the facial hair is too crazy in this one. Also a selfie. Uh, this looks gay. So this guy needs like real activity photos. He's probably a 6.5 in terms of looks, but this profile is like a 2 out of 10. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, the quality is way too poor or it's like way too over edited. You can barely see this guy. Uh, yeah. Lighting is too poor. Uh, wrong angle. Uh, weird pose. Yeah. None of these photos are usable. Unfortunately, uh, this guy's probably like a six in terms of looks or a 6.5 depending on his height, but this profile is a two out of 10, but yeah, none of these photos are usable. Okay. Yeah. Fabio, you have to send to me in, uh, different format okay um i'm not a fan of the short shorts they look a little like metrosexual um yeah not the biggest fan of this photo this guy definitely looks russian or like eastern european uh a little too posed uh nah just not a good look you can't see his face uh wrong angle uh doesn't add anything yeah, none of these photos are really good. I wouldn't use any of these. Uh, also, I think this guy would look better without the glasses. So I would scrap the glasses. I would scrap the glasses, grow out a little bit of facial hair. Uh, he's a little he's a little too dressed down. And I know, like, look who's talking. But, like, like, get pants, get a shirt, like, you know, dress up a little bit more. Like, nothing crazy, but a little bit more. Like, no short shorts, uh, no glasses. Uh yeah, and like better angles, better quality camera. Uh, this guy's definitely tall, so he has potential. But yeah, six out of ten in terms of looks, maybe seven. Uh, in terms of photos, two out of ten. Okay. I think we reviewed this guy, but if not, let's take a look. Weird facial expression. So it's just his face is just like too weird in this one. I would remove uh, two. I don't know. I think two pose, in my opinion. I wouldn't do this one uh no lighting is bad no it's just not a good look can't see you so it doesn't add anything yeah none of these are like particularly good okay we're just getting into the rhythm now 
Okay. Uh, again, I keep saying this, like no like LinkedIn yearbook type of photos, no black and white photos. That's what this looks like. Uh, it's just way too posed. Uh, no, it's just cropped weird. And also, no. Uh, yeah, but he just looks like a nice, nerdy IT guy. Uh, can't see him. Uh, yeah, too chubby. Yeah, he, this guy needs to lose like probably 20 pounds. He's not like obese. He's just got like, he's a little chubby. Uh, lose like 20 pounds. Uh, wear clothes that fit him better. Like this is way too baggy. Like, look at this. This is so baggy. Uh, this is baggy. You need clothes that fit you well. Uh, that's one of the biggest things. Now make you look skinnier. Uh, grow out the facial hair like you have in this one, but let the line of your facial hair go higher. Get a skin fade, lose 20 pounds, get clothes to fit you better, uh, and then redo with all the stuff I talk about, and you could do somewhat decent. Okay. Uh Okay, let's keep going. We're going to go for, oh, we're, we'll go for like a little bit longer, but I don't want to go for too long. Uh, okay. Oh, this guy we already did. Okay. Uh, he's a decent looking dude for sure. <laughs> we got another one of these photos. I love it. Uh, the lighting is not ideal. Like you don't want half your face to be lit up and half dark. It's just kind of, you kind of look like two face. Uh, so that's why nighttime photos aren't ideal. Uh, same issue here. Uh, this one's downwards angle. I don't like this one. His eyes are closed. This is a, this guy's decent looking, but this was probably the only photo that I would keep. And even this one, I'm not the biggest fan of because it's kind of posed. Yeah. I think this guy needs to redo all of these uh, doing some kind of activity during the daytime, good lighting. And this guy could crush it. Uh, okay. Let's take a look. Oh, geez. Oh, this guy sent a bunch of photos. I'm sorry. I can't go through all these. Uh, uh, female dominatrix. Guess what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at this email. Hi, Alex. I'm contacting on behalf of my goddess. I started a show the other day, which mentioned male domination. A bit about the Islam. I presented to my goddess the idea that maybe she'd like to come on as a guest-friendly debate style. Uh, she asked me to contact you to proceed. We're not a couple. I'm just her lowly, loveling slave. Oh, shit. Sorry. He said, keep my confidential information. I didn't see that. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't pull up these emails live on air. Uh, yeah, well, I'll definitely agree to that. That seems fucking fascinating. Uh, sure. Uh, the answer is going to be yes to that. Okay. Let's take a look at one more. Okay. We looked at this one. We just had a product launch today, so it's also like we're going through a lot of uh, troubleshooting and shit. Okay. Uh, no, we, uh, wrong angle, weird facial expression, just mouth too open. Uh, yeah, also same issue. I uh, can't see who you are. Yeah, none of these photos are good. I wouldn't use any of these. The skydiving one maybe as like, I don't know, like the last one, but... This one, just your smile, your mouth is way too open. The angle is too high. It's a selfie. This one, same issue. Uh, the angle is fine, but your mouth is way too open and it's a selfie or it looks like a selfie or it's too close up. Yeah, none of these are good, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at one last one. Okay. Uh, two posts. The shorts are too short. Guys, no short shorts. The shirt is too loose. So, no. Uh, it's too dark. Can't see who you are. Your shorts are too short. Uh, too bro -y. No bro photos. Uh, he's got a good beard. This is the kind of beard I'm talking about. Like, this is this is what a good beard looks like. You want the line to be higher. But you can't see your face, man. Uh, no. Like, I don't know who you are. That's not – that's a dog. Uh yeah, again, can't really see you clearly. None of these photos, he's like clearly visible. He needs a better photos, and this one's too posed. I'm not a fan of any of these, honestly. Like, I don't think any of these are that good. I would scrap all of these, unfortunately. Uh, probably 5.5 in terms of looks right now. If he gets in shape, he can be like a 6.5. But um, his profile is like a 2 out of 10. Okay. One last one.
Okay, this is the guy from earlier. He updated his profile. This is better, but this is still pretty bad. Uh, first photo, like the quality is terrible. And again, no bro photos, like I always say, and the quality is poor. Second one, it's just kind of like an odd selfie. I wouldn't, I'm not a fan of it. Third one, again, too close, like weird facial expression. That's a dog. Uh, also kind of weird. Yeah, none of these are good. I wouldn't use any of these. Okay. One last one. One last one. <laughs> oh, my God. We got Fresh Prince CEO. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, this guy's way more in shape than Fresh Prince. Uh, yeah. Sorry. That's like an insult to this guy. Yeah. This guy's definitely better looking than Fresh Prince. Uh, okay. This one's just like two posts. Kind of a weird outfit. Uh, also weird facial expression. Weird hat. I wouldn't use this. This one's better. This one's not bad. Um, I wouldn't put this as number one, but this one is usable. Uh, this one's pretty good. I would use this, just not as number one. So keep these two photos, remove this, and you need two or three more photos and you'll be all set. Uh, okay, let's take some questions and then we'll call it. I didn't want to go for like too, too long because I get to Whole Foods before they close. Yo, this isn't a fresh, the juice in shape. Yeah, yeah, like I said. Uh, but are you guys seeing the pattern? Uh, yo, guys, trying to upgrade CS80 and one on the side, but then when I click on it, it says 169. Oh, that's weird. Can you uh, shoot me an email, playingwithfirechannel at gmail.com? Let me know exactly what the issue you're having because it's going to be hard for me to troubleshoot this right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get you sorted, man. Don't worry about that. Although the 81 to upgrade was only until – our sale ended uh which it did so now i think it goes up to like 120 something but if you were trying to buy earlier and you were having tech issues we'll, we'll uh we'll we'll, uh, we'll take care of you just shoot me an email explain the situation and we'll get you sorted man you gave me a 6.5 i got 6.9 a photo feeler yeah there'll be some variance um can race affect matches and hookups? Yes, to some extent, but not nearly as much as a lot of people think. Uh, okay, I'll take like questions for a few minutes, and then uh, yeah, and then we got our podcast tomorrow with the guys. So make sure you tune in for that. Then Tuesday, I got a big debate. Should be interesting. It's part of this new debate organization that I got involved with. So I'm gonna be debating like people that they set me up with. Should be interesting. Uh, it's 10 p.m. Isn't Whole Foods closed? Nope. And Miami closed at 11. Uh, so, yeah. So that's that's Tuesday. Wednesday, I got some SJW debates. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of good shit. And then we're going to start doing the in-studio podcast again. So we're going to bring those back. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So those are coming back, too. So, yeah, a lot of good stuff in the works. Uh, but, yeah, it seems like you guys enjoy this concept of profile review. So, you know what? I'll do these, like, from time to time. Uh, yeah. Like, I understand you guys need help with this. And there was like, I probably got through like 10% of the emails that you guys sent me. So I'll, I'll do this periodically. And um, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'll try to help you guys to the best of my ability. Uh, you know, yeah. Okay. So I think that's basically it. Can you do Instagram reviews? Yeah, but that'll be even more time consuming than the profile reviews. I think I'm going to stick with. I mean, maybe I will. Yeah, maybe I'll do one in the future. By TMF, I mean Jose Zuniga. Oh, I don't know who that is. SJW versus John Anthony would be an epic debate, by the way. I agree. That would be pretty cool. Should I rent a camera or do I buy an iPhone for good photos? You can use a you can use an iPhone, uh, but a camera, like a DSLR camera, will be uh, better. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think that's basically it. Uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for, uh, for, for showing up. I appreciate you guys. I think this was, we got through a lot of profiles on this one, so that's good. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so we'll do more of these and make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. It's going to be 4 PM. We're going to do a podcast with the guys. We actually have a really interesting idea. Uh, we're going to be doing like a live text game quiz. So we're going to like show you guys screenshots and you're going to be like, okay, what's the next text? And then you guys are going to write it in and then we'll reveal like, okay, actually this is what we said and why. So it's an interesting concept that we're going to try out tomorrow. It's going to be very interactive. So it should be a good time. All right, guys. Thanks everyone for joining. Appreciate it. Peace.